This is the Lockpicking Lawyer. Ever since I posted my August giveaway video, I've received requests that I demo these tubular lock impressioning tools that I'm giving away. So that's what I'm going to do today on this Cobra Puck Lock. That lock happens to be one of my favorite puck locks, despite the fact that it has an absolutely terrible core. And I'll show you why that is in this video. First, let's take a look at some of the unique features of this Cobra lock. We're going to look at this core and actually compare it to this. I've got a little ACE2 lock here. Let's zoom in. Okay, you can immediately see some pretty significant differences. First, we have this ball bearing right here for drill resistance. Second, you'll notice that this cutout that you see on the center post of the ACE2 is not present on the Cobra core. And then finally, if you have a really good eye, you can see that this center post has seven sides. It's not circular, as opposed to the round ACE2 center post. Now, why does that have seven sides? Well, it's advertised as a key control feature. And if you look a close, if you take a close look at this Cobra key, you can see that it has seven facets on the inside rather than being round. In fact, let's compare it to a a round interior key. You can see they're very similar. And that's advertised as being a patented key design and offering the end user significant key control. In other words, you can't just go to the hardware store and get this key copied. But it's a little bit strange because you can take a standard uh, tubular key like this and it fits perfectly in this lock. I don't see why you couldn't copy this copy the Cobra key onto a standard blank and why it wouldn't work. So it's a little bit baffling in that regard. But let's get on to the impressioning of this lock. We're going to use the 7.8 millimeter tool and first thing we have to do when we want to impression a tubular lock is ensure that all of these wires are flush with the end of the tool. And we do that by taking this ring, it's actually magneted to the handle, and press down on all the wires until they're flush. It's very, very easy to do. Next, we line up the arrow on the tool with the indexing mark on the lock. And we're going to press in and turn at the same time in the same motion. And hopefully that will open her up in, I don't know, less than 10 attempts. There we go. As you can see, we've got it open, and as long as we don't move those wires, this will keep working. Okay, obviously that was really, really easy to open. Why am I saying this is one of my favorite puck locks? Well, it's not my favorite for how it comes from the factory. It's my favorite because of its potential. And let me show you what that potential is. To remove this core, we just loosen this screw up a little bit and the whole apparatus comes out. Then we can press down on this little lug and you can see that the core of this lock is just a standard T-handle core. As such, it can be replaced with any standard T-handle core. And there's some really nice ones made. There's ones made by Medico, there's ones made by Abloy. But what we're going to replace this with today is this one from Two Bar. It's a dual sidebar lock with eight sliders. Pretty tricky to pick, though it is possible. And in fact, I have a video. I don't recall what the number is offhand, but I do have a video of picking this exact lock. And once we slide it in there, we can just put that core back into place. screw it together, and we just transform that into a really, really nasty lock. Something that will give any picker pause. And if you happen to have, let's say, an Abloy T-handle core, you can turn this into a really, really formidable lock. So that's why it's my favorite, not for how it comes from the factory, but for its potential. So that's all I have for you on this Cobra lock. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something about these impressioning tools. If you want to enter for a chance to win these tools, go to my August giveaway video. That's number 221. To enter, you need to leave a comment in that video and you need to be a subscriber. That's all I have for you now. If you have any questions or comments about this Cobra Lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.